Razavani for fighthype.com. 5 and 0, oh, Mr. Five Joshua Boatsi. What's going on, champ? I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, happy to be back on this channel, man. I watched the last interview. I was like, yeah, good banter. Yeah, man. It's all about building relationship with fighters. Sure. But we'd like to conduct ourselves like a conversation yeah. rather than yeah. sitting down. Like, I got no notes on me. We don't yeah. have notes. Fantastic. We just go with the flow. Whatever you say, we kind of just bounce. That's how it's it. got to be, man. Keep yeah. it natural. Yeah, that's how it's got to be. Whereas when it's too, like, too, too scripted. Cool. Yeah, you don't want that. Nah, it's nah. just too woman. And yeah. we're not we're not like that. Exactly. Not. People, you got to know, so I look different, don't I? When he interviewed me, I was looking like a 10 out of 10, but now the beard is gone. Talk <laughs> to me about gone. that. Talk to me about that. Why do you take off your beard? So ba basically... Um, not that there's anything wrong with it, but... You know, do you know I just what I mean? heard so, somebody say that you should have a beard. So. Yeah. So, for example, my next fight is May the 5th. Um, between now and May the 5th, no razor will touch my hair or my beard. So on May the 4th, I'll get a haircut. So um, it's literally when I'm in camp, I'm not really thinking about appearance, what I look like, what I'm doing. I'm just thinking about training, preparing as much as I can. So um, I don't cut my hair or do anything like that. I just let everything grow. And then after the weigh-in, that's when I have my lunch and then we go to the barbers in the night and then Saturday evening we perform. Was that tradition? Is that how you like it? I've been doing that from the amateurs um, and it's just something that stuck with me. So um, people are just getting to know more about it now but I've been doing that from day man. We just heard, we just heard somebody say that keep the beard and make you look more mean. Yeah. Um, I feel like, hopefully I look mean both times but you know what? Forget the looks man. It's about how, how you fight, like what you're like in the ring. and. Um, um, if you're a beast, you're a beast, whether you've got a beard or you haven't got a beard. So um, forget that, man. <laughs> Talking about today's performance, obviously, on a, uh, once again, yeah. on a huge card, yeah. uh, on Andrew Joshua's card. And we'll come to Joshua in a moment. But <laughs> Let me tell you, so I'll, I'll tell you this. Basically, I'm gutted I didn't get on um, Sky. It wasn't live, it was on Facebook. Absolutely gutted. Um, I would have loved people to see um, a different style because I felt you Usually, I feel usually I go forward, fight a lot and, you know, kind of go all out. But this time it was a bit more controlled, a bit more boxing, a bit more skills were shown. Um, and who knows how many people saw it, do you know what I mean? So I am glad about that, but I'm happy I still picked up a win. That's the primary aim all the time, so um, that I'm happy with, but like I said, I'm glad it didn't go on Sky or anything. I know you have the Rio Olympics, yeah. but I mean, you've had the experience of having large audiences. Yeah. But you kind of used to that now, or is that still get, you get goosebumps when you um, walk out? And you, you know what it is, I get, I, I get good energy from it. Coming out, knowing that there's people watching, there's expectations, that there's all lies on you. I thrive off stuff like that. I, li I like things like that, man. Thank you. Um, when it's empty, I'm like, oh, here we go, what are we doing? Jab, move, jab, move. But when there's a crowd, you're like, yep, it's showtime. Let's put on a show. Let's let's make this happen. Let's entertain. I get a buzz from it. How many, obviously, five and oh, many, by the end of the year, kind of, when, where do you want to finish? How many more fights do you think you've got? So? Um, do you know what? I would love to give you a direct answer, but I haven't been in this game long to be able to say how many more fights I can have within the year. Um, if I could be out every month on a big show, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Um, but things happen, injuries happen, and sometimes you need to rest. Um, you might be moving on to longer rounds, so the toll of training might accumulate and kind of um, had a bad, have a bad effect rather than a good thing. So um, I would say I haven't got the experience to kind of comment on that, but I'll be out, I'll be out as much as I can be. Yeah. Good friend of yours, I know you train with him quite a lot, and to Joshua surprised a lot of people yesterday yeah. coming in at 17, four. Yeah. Like this in three years, yeah. so not much, not too much different between him himself and Parker in yeah. terms of weight. Parker came out today to do his rehearsals. Yeah. Uh, and I was quite a lot of people telling me that he looked very cool, very yeah. relaxed, and he's really out for it. Is this really a stern test for Joshua, or is it someone that's just going to walk over, do you think? Um, it's a dangerous test in the sense that Parker's embracing everything. I haven't seen him shy away from it all. He's cool, he's calm, he's just moving like this is normal. Mm -hmm. And that's dangerous, you know, because you'd think that Actually, he's not in New Zealand, it's not on home turf. You'd think that would throw him off, but actually he's like, yeah, I'm embracing it. I'm looking forward to it, boxing in front of a large crowd. So that, that makes him a dangerous fighter for me. Um, nevertheless, I do still feel Joshua come out on top. Mm -hmm. What's the prediction? Are we going to see 12 rounds today or um, just going to knock him out? It might be a late stoppage, you know. Um, 
what's certain is that it will be a win for Big Josh. Yeah. He, he, he will grind it out if he has to. Um, but respect to Parker as well, he's also going to grind it out. He's a champion for a reason. So um, just like yourself, I'm going to have some cold drink and then just sit back non-alcoholic non-alcoholic I don't even drink man. Um, I'm an eater I, I eat food that's what I do drinking is not I see that when you, went, yeah. is it when you went to Ghana yeah I see your snaps yeah my mum has been seen me for three years so she was like son lunch breakfast dinner snacks everything just feeding me but um, like everything's blessed man everything's blessed I want you to sign us out I think I want to create a signature sign out for yeah. Joshua Bites you yeah. need to think of something where you sign us out at the end so what's going through your mind what can you say that it's going to be exclusive only to fight hard not exclusive but let's say it's the first one that's it's going to be said okay um, Joshua Bites you JB, just boxing, just business, and most importantly, I'm just blessed. Oh, <laughs> remember that, Joshua Bartzi. Many congratulations again. Appreciate that. Enjoy the rest of the night. Be good. If you can't be good, don't be bad. For real. And we'll catch you very soon. Joshua Bartzi for FightHub.com. Thank you very much. Nice one, Good. Bye.